that there are a lot of anime out there and I wanted to give my recommendations, nine in no particular order to be precise, so let's go. Azamanga Dayo is hilarious. Anime loves high school as a setting and this one follows a group of girls living life through it. Each of the girls have their own comedic quirk which just adds to the series. The humour is spot on with the jokes every minute like a freight train. For a good laugh and that cat, watch Azamanga Dayo. Kuroko no Basket is my favourite sports anime that isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. The story of a basketball team fighting other teams with superpowered members battling each other during matches. The production polish on this one from Production IG is amazing. They really worked marvels in terms of the basketball matches. Give Kuroko no Basket a go. Bakano is a story of multiple stories much like another series in this video. From thieves to alchemists to a guy named Jacuzzi. The pacing of the story is what works even if the anime adaptation only covers the first section of its source material. Also lovable characters. For a train ride of adventure watch Bakano. Hunter x Hunter is a shonen battle series about Gon and his adventures. It goes deeper with that in the series with the different factions and arcs. Subversion has always fascinated me even though the shonen genre is always being subverted. Looking at you One Punch Man but this series was one of the first and the 2011 series is an excellent adaptation. Watch Hunter x Hunter for an adventure like no other. Fate Zero is my favourite entry in the franchise. The Fate series has always been a mixed bag from decent to god awful with some good character designs. This particular series on the other hand was fascinating with its battle royale plot. The characters are all well developed especially the three prominent servants. The production on this one I honestly prefer to Unlimited Blade Works so the character designs don't look flat and boring. The colour and designs work so well with the flowing animation so give Fate Zero a what? The Promised Neverland is a terrifying series. Full of suspense with the characters planning their escape to save themselves from a dark future. The emotions of the characters is shown perfectly through the anime adaptations character designs. The word of the day in this series is suspense. It reminds me of an Alfred Hitchcock film. Just watch The Promised Neverland. Durarara was originally written by the same author who worked on Bakano, so the same type of story with branching lines for the different characters. The plot this time is set in a section of modern day Tokyo. The different citizens who live there and how their daily lives go. The entertainment comes from the weaving of the lives of these great characters with a further supernatural twist than Bakano. For a wild ride, watch Durarara. Hanebado is the other sports based anime I enjoy. This time it's about badminton. Again, the animation is so good it makes the sweat of the characters look great. Seriously, I would recommend this series purely based on its visuals because they are that good. Dot Hack Signs is the only good anime series based on the classic Isekai series. The story of a girl being trapped in the most popular game on earth and their quest to escaping while finding out what was happening. The story is paced just right for the characters to develop while setting up stuff for later on in the franchise. Watch Dot Hack Signs, it's a classic. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for more content from yours truly. Also, follow me on Twitter for the link in the description. Cheers for watching.